Here we are back at the Miller Family's weblog, and in this tutorial we're going to explore how to use our WordPress editing uh, feature in much more detail than we did in our basic tutorial. So let's go ahead and click through on the right option. And what we're going to do here is write a post. So the first thing we need to do is add a title, and we're going to call this Rodeo. And then we're going to jump right down into our editing box here, and we're going to type in uh, some text. This is a story about the rodeo. Okay, and this is actually all we need to do. Uh, right now we could hit publish and we'd have a valid post on our blog. But as you can see right above here, we've got a lot of functions that we can uh, perform on our text. And this is pretty much standard in any editing box or even a word processor. So you're probably familiar with uh, most of these features here. And if you're not, you can always uh, jump down to the uh, help menu and it will explain in more detail what each one of these things does. Uh, this little box on the end here will uh, contract and expand, so these are some of the more advanced features here, and uh, your basic features are just uh, above that if that's all you want to use. So uh, a couple of the thing, things that I want to go over here are how to add uh, photos or documents into our uh, post and uh, we still think Flickr is is the uh, superior way if you're archiving or sharing your photos with people so you'd use uh, Flickr and then uh, embed a Flickr photograph in your WordPress blog but if you have other pho photos or documents that uh, uh, don't necessarily need to be archived. You can actually store them on the WordPress server and uh, embed them right here. So let's go ahead and and look at how we do that. Uh, in our first instance, uh, we're going to go ahead and grab an image from an external site. And I have one open right here. Make sure you have uh, permission to do this, obviously. So I'm going to highlight uh, or put my cursor above the photograph. I'm going to hit the right mouse button and go down to properties and we're going to look at properties. And over here where it says uh, address, this is the actual address where this photo resides. And I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to hit my right mouse button and hit copy. So now I can cancel this and we're going to jump back into our Miller Family weblog. I'm going to click into the image URL box and I'm going to hit paste. Uh, now I could do some other things with, uh, I can add an image description, I could do the alignment and borders and that sort of thing, but uh, basically all I need to do is add that URL in here. So now I'm going to say insert and as soon as I do that it pops uh, my picture from uh, an external site right into my post. Okay, let's look at another way we can add a, a picture or, or any kind of media into our uh, WordPress post. And that is, we're going to go to this line here that says add media. And so we're going to add an image. And so now this, this image is going to reside and be stored on our WordPress server. So we can choose the files to upload, and here I see uh, a list of files on my hard drive. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to say open. So right now where it says crunching, the, uh, the image has been uploaded onto the WordPress server. So now all I need to do is choose some of these options. I have some stuff I can do here, like uh, uh, add a caption or a description, and these are all optional. And here for size, I'm going to say full size. And then we're going to say insert into post. And so what this does is actually insert that image right into my post. Now let's look at how to add a video to our post. And we can go right into this line right here, add media. And we see add video comes up. Let's click in on that. And so we can uh, choose a file to upload only if we have a uh, upgraded account. Uh, with the free account, we just can upload these photos right here, which don't include video. But what we can do is uh, put in a URL of a video that's uh, hosted on uh, YouTube, Google, or Daily Motion. So let's go ahead and do that. I actually have a video on YouTube right here. So if we go up to our address bar here and do a right mouse button and say copy and then go back to our Miller Family weblog. We'll 
click into the URL box and we'll say paste. Uh, we see we've got our YouTube address in there. Let's go ahead and insert into our post. And here we have, let's go ahead and go down here. So right here we have a, uh, uh, a video uh, from YouTube that's embedded into our visual view here. So let's go ahead and we'll say save. And this uh, saves our post to the uh, WordPress server. And then we're going to preview this post. And we can see in our preview that there is our uh, rodeo video that's hosted on YouTube. And right below that, we have a photo that is uh, hosted on another website. And finally, we have the photo that we have hosted on uh, the WordPress site. OK, let's close out this preview. And let's go down to the bottom here and we'll look at some other things. Uh, we have tags that we could add for this. And so we could add uh, maybe uh, Reno Rodeo. And uh, tags are actually uh, like categories and they help us uh, in, a, in future searches uh, for our post. And also when people are doing internet searches uh, through Google or other search engines, uh, the tags help find uh, the appropriate uh, post that we have. Now we can do, uh, we have categories again, we can add a new category and maybe we want to add a category called uh, Rodeo. We might have a bunch of posts uh, in the future that relate to Rodeo. And so we're going to go ahead and click that and we have our uh, Rodeo category. Now an excerpt is simply if we want to add some text that describe what this post is about. By default, uh, WordPress will take the first couple of lines of a post, uh, first couple of lines of text, and use those as the excerpt. But if there's uh, something that we want to say differently, or perhaps we have some, some uh, other verbiage that's more important that's buried inside of our post, then we could put that right here. Now trackbacks simply, uh, if we're using uh, part of uh, uh, another an article that's hosted on another website or maybe even the photo that's hosted from the other website, we can actually uh, put that URL right in here and uh, it lets the other uh, post know that we that we have uh, referenced their either article or photographs. Okay, comments and pings. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. We can allow comments and we can allow pings from other blogs or websites. And lastly, we can uh, password protect this post. And what that does is allow us to just take this one individual post and apply a password to it if we want to. So let's scroll up and let's look at some of the features that we have in the uh, right-hand sidebar of our uh, editing box. And we can obviously preview the post. We can see the uh, publish status here and we can actually change that right here if we wanted to. Uh, we can check this to keep the post private. We can uh, publish immediately or we can actually change the date that the uh, uh, the post becomes active. If I put a date sometime in the future here, uh, this post would not become visible until that date and time after we clicked uh, publish. We can save our post and uh, we can publish our post or delete our post. And we also have some uh, related uh, features that we can click on right here rather than go back to our main menu and we can see the comments, manage comments, that sort of thing. So this is just a, uh, a way to quickly enter some of the, the features that uh, we that might be related to this particular post. So in this uh, tutorial we've seen how to uh, uh, get more in depth with our editing box and so now would be a great time to go out and uh, implement some of these features on your own blog. Thank you for watching this WeDigi WordPress tutorial. Now please close the media player and return to the main menu to see the rest of the tutorials.